Okay, so the last game we're going to talk about this week is Till Dawn, which came out in 2014. It's ages 8 and up. It's 4 to 8 players. takes about 30 minutes. It's rated a 6.3 out of 10 on Board Game Geek, and that's partly because not a lot of people own it. Its overall rank is 5,224 out of over 15,000 games. Now, this came out as a Kickstarter, but we weren't really back in Kickstarter back then. Oh, I thought we were. No, not uh, that was before our time. Oh, okay. And it's something that we would have backed because we really like it a lot. Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at what it, how the game plays. It's a vampire-themed push-your-luck game. So think of it as a more complicated zombie dice game. <laughs> so even though I'm only showing three players here, uh, you should actually have four, and each player has five health. They uh, get a power that's dealt randomly every round, and you play uh, uh, over three rounds, and the object is to get the most blood each round uh, from different places that you go. And you and if you do, for instance, get five blood on a round, which you would show here, uh, and if you end the round before it gets daylight, you go back to your crypt, you were able to convert those five blood into a coffin, and you turn it over, and people, other than the size, because this would be a, this would be a twenty, <laughs> uh, but you don't know if that person has a ten or a five there. But you would turn it over, and you would convert that uh, those blood cubes into these coffin uh, tokens. And so whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds wins. So each uh, vampire has a different ability. So this says rapid regeneration. So this says reveal to increase your health by two because slayers will come up as you play the game that can damage you. So it says here, active player, uh, I'll take one wound or lose three uh, blood cubes. So let's say the active player is down to one uh, health. They can end up, instead of dying, losing three blood cubes to keep on going. Now there's other powers people have. So this, there's a little bit of uh, player interaction here. This person here could use this card, Hypnotic Influence. They can discard it to make a Vampire Slayer go away and help everybody else out, or they can cancel another player's power. So they could use it to help or to hurt other players. And this person, again, there's different powers that people have, and you draw a new power every round. Now you'll see that there's this shorter deck here with different moons on it. So you have the hunting moon, the blood moon, the blue moon, or to uh, refuse invitation. So every player has this deck. That's because when you go on the hunt, not only can you find slayers, but you can draw an invitation card. So this is where you kind of do a little bit of uh, gambling, so to speak, push your luck. You can decide to go on the invitation with the elders and if you guess the, the blue moon or the blood moon, you can get three blood tokens. Or if you really want to risk it and get the hunting moon, you can get six blood tokens. However, if you do an incor incorrect guess, you get one injury, or you can just refuse. So each player, if this comes up, so each player takes a turn drawing a card, say I drew it on my turn, and I'd say, all right, everybody decide what you're going to do. And so I might say, I'm going to go for the, the blue moon. I would put it face down. Nobody knows what I'm going for. And I'll just do random ones here. And then let's say uh, Maynard is the next person to draw. Maynard would still, this carnival would still take effect. But we look at the top here. So I got lucky. I guessed that it would be a blue moon. So I'm going to get three blood tokens. I guessed correctly. What did Maynard guess? Oh, he guessed uh, the hunting moon, so he'll take one damage. He didn't guess the right moon. And she refused, so she's not going to take any, she's not going to get any benefits or take any damage. So Maynard's okay. He's only down the one. But it did say discard one blood on the, on hers, on the refuse invitation. Oh, you know what? We didn't play that rule right. I don't think we did we either. We didn't, so she would have to discard a blood. And I'd have to look up in the rules. If you can't discard a blood, would you lose a life? You know, that's interesting. That's one rule that we forgot. Mm -hmm. So, but, so we do the invitation and the carnival would still take effect. So everybody who is still staying in the game would get two for the carnival. So I'd get two. Maynard would get two. <coughs> and uh, Harlow. Harlow would get two. Now, you do get a bonus. So if the club scene came up, everybody would get three who is still in the game. But I get plus one because Sasha 
hangs out at the club scene. So she would actually get four, and Maynard would get three, and Harlow would get three. Now, why would you ever leave the game, leave the round? Well, because if a Sun Rising card comes up, this says move the Sun Track three. Now, what's cool about this game is it uses the top of the box. So I move it one, two, three, and look, we're one away from the Sun coming up. So people might, even though we have a lot of health left, we might be like, well, you know what? We're going to take the blood that we have right now. So I might cash out and it goes nine. I get nine. So I get a five here. And you go four. back to your coffin then. Yeah, I go back to my coffin. Mm -hmm. I get I cash out. And everybody else says, no, we're going to keep on going. So let's see what the next card is. A slayer comes along. Mm -hmm. I'll take three wounds. But he'll use his special power and make the slayer go away, which helps Harlow too. Next round. Okay, it it's uh, it can go back one. So maybe I shouldn't have left. Mm -hmm. And so the next person goes. Now, let's say this one come up, Uptown. Well, Maynard gets plus one. Harlow gets one, and there's an event here. Now, it's hard to see, but this cross means event. So if it was Harlow who drew that, she'd get this card. And this one says, play immediately. Heal up the two health, then all other players may spend two blood tokens to heal one health. So it would take effect immediately. So again, you keep on playing until the sun comes up or until all players decide to go to their coffin. Now, let's say it, the sun did come up, Maynard had cash in, and Harlow didn't cash in, she would lose all of her blood and not get any uh, to save for the next, that round. So she lost all of her blood, Maynard cashed in. Now we'd go to the next round, we'd heal back up to five again, and we'd play the second round. And we'd get new power cards. Yep, we'd get new power right. cards. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at how it played uh, in the playback here. Alrighty. Again, we played with our friends Amanda and Anthony. So here we are, we're starting the game. We upturned one card, we each got one blood. Yeah, that's that's interesting. We played that uh, that wrong sometimes, I think, on the, invi on the invitation. Right. And yeah, you know, yeah. I saw that and I didn't think anything about it till right now when I just saw it again. Yeah, we haven't played this game in a long time. So we that was good that you just saw it right now. So well, that, that you. shows you that we sometimes don't play, remember all the rules. That's true. So let's move on here to see. Hey, jump ahead. Jump ahead a little bit. So here we are. The sun's up. We're one away from the sun. Oh, goodness. I, uh, Amanda's still going. You got I the heck just out. cashed out. And I'm cashing you, out too. You're cashing out. And Amanda and Anthony are going to stay in. They're risking it. They're risking it. So that's why it's a push your luck game. I think Anthony's asking a question here. I can kind of tell by the way his hands are. <laughs> <laughs> his hands are very expressive. Yep, he's trying to figure out what the heck he wants to. So I'm letting him know. If, if another sunrise comes up, he's going to lose all the blood he gained that round. Yep. And he only has, I think, like three or four, but still, right. he's you don't deciding, want to lose it. Should I go for it or not? And then Amanda's trying to figure out, too, what she's she wants to do. Okay, so he cashed out, and, I'm, and Amanda cashed out, too, and I'm showing what would have happened. If they would have stayed in. They could have stayed in a while. And they could have stayed in a long time. Oh, going my like, Oh, darn. Gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have cashed out. See, that's why it's a push your luck. Darn. Game. Look how long they could have gone. Yeah, they could have gone a long time. Holy Toledo. They could have made a lot and of then, blood. And look, they could have done like eight cards in this risk. Wow. So now we're going to set up for the next round. We get new powers. Okay, and so we're looking up the invitation because we forgot. And we didn't even see on there that yeah. you have to lose a blood. <laughs> That's all right. It's all for fun anyway. So now we're deciding whether or not to go for the invitation. And Amanda just played a special power. Yeah, I don't know which, I don't which one it was. I don't either. But anyways, we go all the way to the end here. I, I, I know I didn't win. I don't know who won that game. I don't so here we are in the last round. Look have. how much blood all of us have. And it's only on the second uh part of the track oh it's an invitation we're trying to figure out what we want right. to do so let's see what happens here i'm going to fast forward okay honey 
Okay, so now it's further along. It's one day away from sunlight. I've cashed out. I've You've cashed, cashed out. out. Anthony, Amanda's staying in. Yep, she's, she's... And she has to decide if she's going to go on the invitation or not. So here she's going to select a card. She's selecting a blood moon, so oh. now he's flipped the next card. She got another slayer, and it was a hunting moon, so she gets penalized. Oh, gosh. So she gets wounded. Uh, and now is she going to stay in? She stayed in. She stayed in. And it's another slayer. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. She is so... Oh, so she's going to stay gosh. in. Oh, uh, She did get more blood. Did she stay in? Let's see. I think she does. Okay. <gasps> and look what happened. She lost it The sun it all. came up. Ah, oh, poo. And she lost everything. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, but she had to because she was behind. Yeah, that's right. And I think, actually, you won. I think I might have. Yeah, yeah. you won that time. So that was the end of three rounds, and now we're going to count up our coffin tokens to see who won. And I did. Yep. Finally. Woohoo! I won a game! <laughs> I think that's the only game I won that night. <laughs> so right, tell us what you think about it, Jay. I think it's a super fun theme. It's fun, it's cute, it's just... You know, it's just silly. It's no, no big deal. Very easy to play. I mean, you can't get any harder than flipping a card up and moving, deciding to stay or go. Um, it's another filler game that's very quick and just, it's it's nice little, you know, you've played a heavy game and you're like, okay, what are we going to play next? Let's just throw this one right. in and decide what we want to do after that. So you know, and Anthony and I are good sports. We taught them three new games. We taught them yeah. how to pay. Taluva in that game. We also taught him um, Eddie's game. Um, oh, heck. oh yeah, Karuba. Karuba. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, it's a. I think it's a really fun push your luck game, and uh, also I think one of my most favorite things is that the box fits the theme. It's a coffin, and you use it in the game. And I don't know of any other game we've played where you use the box to be There's part of the game. Is there? There's a, I mean, uh, uh, Spinderella uses the box. Oh shoot! And, yeah, you're uh, right. There's, another, there's a couple. Not many games do, do You're that. right. I didn't even think of that. What about you, Dave? What do you think? Well, again, it's a fun push-your-luck game with nice mechanics. And what I mean by that is that unlike zombie dice, which mm -hmm. is, there's not much going on. True. With this, you have powers, you have event cards, and you have the invitation, and mm -hmm. you got to worry about slayers. So it's a little bit more complicated in a good way. Yeah. So it's a cool theme. I like vampire games. And one of our favorite movies is, uh, Marvel movies is Blade. Yes. But... That came out before the, the new Marvel universe. I didn't even know it was a Marvel movie for the yeah. longest time. <laughs> so even before we got into Iron Man and other things like that, yep. uh, we were into Blade. So uh, it's a decent player interaction because you can help each other with right. the power cards or you can hurt each other. You know, you can play that card at the right time when you're trying to heal. That's right. And if somebody prevents you from doing that. And it's like, dug on it. <laughs> and the thing is, it's not too overpowered because you only have one power card a turn. Right. It's not like you have a whole bunch. Uh and then it's minor layout issues. Now, what I mean by that is that when you look at the the cards, they're a little busy. So it's hard to see the mm -hmm. cross here. So you can miss that if you're not looking for it carefully. And again, that's just a, you know, a layout game design equipment. And then a minus for me that's four plus players. We would play this more if yeah. it was two players, for instance. And maybe we can try it like that and see how it I works. Don't know. I don't know if it I would work. But see, that's why we play we've played zombie dice more, or other push your luck games that we're going to show you, is because you can play with two players. Right. So maybe we can try this with a variant to see how it works. Yeah, it'll be interesting to try it and, and see what that's, happens. That's why we've only played it two times since 2016. I didn't even realize it had only been two times. I really did think we had played it more than that. Well, we used to play it more before that. We just again, when you have new people come over, you share, you show them new games that you haven't played in a while. Right. So we both rated an eight. In fact, we bought additional copies when it was on sale to give as gifts. So our brothers have it and they both play it with their kids. Yep, they do. So that is the last game for this week. Yay. And we will uh, now go on to our special topic. Alrighty. Stay tuned.